ASOS are very slowly becoming my favourite place to shop ever. Now that they've bought Topshop, I think they sell Misguided on there. They, they literally have like all my favourite brands in one place and I'm so excited to show you what I picked up today. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video if this is the first time you're visiting my channel. And if you do like just lots of hauls and styling videos and shopping things, then you've got like a full on self-confessed shopaholic here. I bring you hauls twice a week, sometimes three times a week when I've spent too much money. Um, so yeah, if you guys do wanna stick around, then do hit the thumbs up and do subscribe. And let's get in with the first item. We're gonna get started with a top that's literally in my color at the moment, which is like a creamy beige shade. I can't get enough of these kind of colours. I mean, you can see today, like, I literally just wear, like, white, cream, beige and black. And that is literally my wardrobe right now. But this top I actually really liked because it's kind of got, like, cardigan vibes. I don't normally wear stuff like this. But I thought, actually, this with a pair of jeans or even, like, leggings, I think would look very, very chic. So I am interested to see how this looks on. Okay, how do we feel about this? I don't know if I'm here for it or not. It's quite cute and it's actually quite a flattering shape. I quite like the fact that this kind of goes out here. So it makes it seem like your waist is nice and cinched and then it kind of like, you know, gives you that nice hourglass figure. I think it's just because I don't really see myself in clothes like this much at all. But I did want to try something different just because I feel like I, I don't want to get into the situation where I'm like wearing the same stuff in all my hauls. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. I feel like some people are going to really love this and then some people probably will be a bit on the fence. But, I mean, it's not it's not bad, is it? It's actually, it's quite a nice top, I think. So, this next top is from Misguided, which is sold on ASOS, which I'm totally here for. It sold out on Misguided a few weeks ago and I was like, oh my god, I'm so gutted. Then when I saw it on the ASOS website, I was like, hang on a minute. Like this is amazing so it's this gorgeous spaghetti strap corset style top it's giving me like very 90s vibes mixed with a bridgeton with the corset style these kind of tops are like my absolute go-to i love a corset top so so much and um, if this fits well i know for a fact that like i as soon as we can leave the house i will wear this so much because this is literally me down to a t you're actually not going to believe this like i was raving about this top and then i go to put it on and the strap pings off so that's kind of heartbreaking but if you do obviously want to get this top you will probably get one that isn't broken i've never really experienced this with misguided or asos um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, the top itself is actually really cute. It fits really, really well, but I just, I can't believe it. I was so excited. This was honestly like out of all the things that I bought, I genuinely was most excited for this. So yep. Cool. Love that. We are coming closer and closer to spring at the moment. So I feel like I need to start picking some stuff up for the warmer weather. So this top, again, it's kind of giving me like 90s vibes, like the one before. But I just thought it was so gorgeous. Maybe more like early 2000s vibe, actually. But it's like this halter neck top with this really cute little keyhole neck detailing. I just think this is going to be a really nice layering piece. You can pair it under a blazer and a pair of jeans in spring. And I think this would look unreal. Even like in the summer with a little skirt or a pair of shorts, I feel like this is going to be a really versatile top for the warmer months. So I absolutely love this. Okay, my first piece of advice would be invest in some nipple pads if you're gonna um, get this top. But hopefully you can kind of see the top. Um, I literally, I don't know where my nipple pads have gone. I've actually fully lost them. So sorry that I'm having to show you like this. But I mean, when you find some nipple pads or I feel like that literally is the only option. I feel like, I feel like this top's actually really cute and I would definitely, like I feel like this actual outfit with these jeans and then a blazer over the top would be so, so nice. I actually love the top, like don't let this put you off, I just don't want to get demonetized because I feel like that might happen because it's a little bit see-through, but other than that, it's actually a really nice top and I would still recommend it to you guys. I'm so excited to show you this next item because I saw it on a girl on TikTok and I literally, like, the TikTok had hundreds and thousands of likes and I was like, no, this, this coat is going to have sold out. But I did go on the ASOS website and they had it in my size and I was like, oh my God, it's meant to be. Like, this is unreal. So it's this gorgeous, like, shiny PU khaki trench coat and I am just completely here for it. I'll show you it undone, obviously, in the try-on clips, 
but this colour, I am just living for it. I don't own a huge amount of khaki coats. I think I have like one puffer style jacket, which I have worn, but not loads. But I feel like this for spring is going to be my absolute go-to. Like, I just love it. Oh my God, can we actually just take a moment? How unreal is this coat? I actually think this might be one of my favourite coats ever. I just think like the style, the colour, I don't know if you can see how far it goes. Oh, I think you can actually if I go on tiptoes. It's quite a long coat. So if you are taller than me, so I'm five foot three-ish. Um, if you are taller than me, then you're gonna be totally fine with this. And I feel like even if you're shorter than me, you'll probably be okay as well. It's just a nice length. But I mean, I just think it looks so good. Even with like just a basic little crop top like this and jeans, I feel like this really is the vibe that we want spring 2021 i love this so as you guys probably know asos bought out topshop and i think they bought miss selfridge as well which were a couple of the arcadia brands it's a really sad day actually because i absolutely loved topshop i love going into the store i actually worked at the like the big one um up in london at oxford street but i'm kind of glad that their legacy will be continued through asos and I hope, I don't know if they will, but I really hope they put the prices down because Topshop clothing is expensive. These were some of the most expensive bits that I picked up. So I'll show you the top first. So this is actually really cool. I feel like I could see my friend Hope wearing this. It's like this ruched um, black top. It's got quite a high neck, I believe. It does look quite high neck, but I just feel like this tucked into a pair of jeans would look absolutely unreal so yeah we shall see i mean the top shop quality is really good like this is a nice weighty um top so i have very high hopes for this i don't know where i got high necked top from this in the previous clip because it's definitely not a high neck top but it is actually really cute i kind of wish though that it was a bodysuit i mean to be fair like it does tuck in a fair way but because of the ruching, I feel like I could, you know, move around a little bit and it would start, like, bunching up in places. So I feel like if it was a bodysuit, it would just feel a little bit more comfortable to wear. But it is actually a really nice top. And I feel like, I mean, Topshop, I do really love their stuff. So I'm not surprised I do really like this. But, um... Yeah, I just kind of wish it was a bodysuit. But other than that, I don't really have anything else to say about it. It is actually really cute. It's a nice fit. It feels comfortable. So... Yeah, would recommend. So the next item from Topshop that I picked up are their jeans. So these are the straight leg jeans. I think I have a pair quite similar to these. I picked these up in a size six, well, a waist 25, which I don't know if that was the right decision. I feel like Topshop, from my memory, does come up small, whereas I normally wear like a 25 and everything else. I don't know if these are going to fit. I really hope they do. But the style of these jeans, I just think, is so nice. I love the colour. And I know that Topshop jeans just fit amazingly. So hopefully I did pick up the right size. I just love them. I just think the colour is, like, perfect for spring. <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely picked these up in the wrong size. I don't know why I didn't realise this when I was ordering. The Topshop jeans come up small. So do size up. I just get so confused because like, I just find jeans genuinely like one of the most annoying things to buy because you just never know what size you are in brands. But Topshop, I'm sure you've all got some Topshop jeans somewhere, but definitely size up one size because these are just not gonna do up. And then the jeans that I've got on in all the other try on clips are some, I think they're from PLT and they're a size six and actually they're like kind of big on the waist. So. I literally just don't even know at this point. Like, I really don't. Um, but hopefully you can kind of see the jeans here. They are actually quite cute. I feel like I bought a size maybe. Well, the length-wise. I feel like the length is a bit too short as well. I really just did not think about this very well at all. So, oops. Moving on to some shoes now. I'm not going to lie. I took these out of the box and they absolutely stink. But they look unreal. So, they're these super, super chunky boots. They're giving me a very, like, Prada vibes. These look huge. So, I feel like if you guys are new to my channel, or if you aren't new to my channel, you will know that I have quite big feet for some of my height. I've got a size 6 feet and a 5 foot 3. And these actually look huge. I don't know if you can see on camera. They just look massive. But I just really, really love the style. I don't have a really nice pair of black boots like this yet i picked up some in my zara haul and they were just a little bit too tall for me so hopefully these will be a nice kind of dupe for that i just think they look really nice especially with like leather leggings or even just like regular leggings i feel like these are gonna be such a vibe okay please excuse the weird legging boot combo 
But what do you think about these? I don't know if the tops are a little bit too wide. Like, can you see? They're just, they're quite gapy. But I know that is kind of the vibe. And I guess, like, when I think about the Zara boots, they're quite similar. But, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe because I just have the complete wrong leggings on right now. I'm not seeing the full fantasy. But, yeah, let me know what you think. I don't know whether to keep them or not. These fit well in terms of like the length. They're actually, you know, an ideal length for me. So yeah, let me know what you think because I really like, I trust your guys' opinion and I'm just, I'm very torn. This next top is one of those where I feel like I'm going to be able to tell if I like it once I try it on. It looks unreal on the ASOS website. So it's from the brand Reclaimed Vintage. I don't know if that is one of ASOS's own brands. I think it is. But I thought it was a really cool design. So it's like this twist front top. But then it's got this tie bit here. So I feel like it's going to look really nice on, especially with jeans. But yeah, I'm not 100% convinced yet. So we will see in the next clip. I am so pleasantly surprised by this top. It's actually so, so nice. I love the fit of it and I really like this twisted effect here. It looks unreal. Um, one thing I would say, and I think I forgot to mention it, is that this is all kind of like unseamed. So it kind of gives it that, I don't know, like vintagey vibe in a way. Um, I don't know how the fabric's gonna last. Like, I don't know if it's one of those fabrics that doesn't fray. I always worry when it comes to like unseamed stuff. I'm like, how's that fabric gonna wash? How is it gonna last? But other than that, I mean, the fit is actually unreal. It's so comfortable um, and it fits like quite nice and tight to the body, but without feeling like too restricting. So this, I absolutely would recommend. Like this is so nice. And I really want to try some more stuff now from the Ragged Priest because I think it was the Ragged Priest, wasn't it? I feel like their stuff might actually be to my taste. So yeah, love this. As we are very slowly but surely coming into spring, I thought I'd pick up a little skirt and um, just something that I can easily pair with like oversized jumpers but also still kind of have that spring vibe. So I saw this little denim skirt and I actually thought this was really cute because I love the slits. I feel like these kind of style of skirts came in maybe last year, kind of towards the autumn and I've always loved them but I've not seen one in like this kind of denim canvasy fabric. I think this is going to be unreal. I bought it in a size 6. It does look quite small but I do I do think it might fit just because ASOS is a little bit more forgiving than some other brands in terms of the sizing but I just think it's super cute and I feel like I'll be able to get a lot of kind of like different outfits out of this. This skirt is actually so so cute. I really love the shape of it. I really like the kind of like detailing here. I think I should have sized up to an 8. Um, just because it would be a little bit more comfortable like the six does fit to be fair like it's not bad I mean it literally is like you know just about fitting but um, maybe size up in this I feel like ASOS is a bit of a weird one because in their jeans I wear a six but in this I'm a eight I would say so weird I literally never know I feel like maybe I need to start ordering like two sizes of the things I'm not sure about so that I'm not just wearing things that don't fit me in my hauls but, I mean, other than that, I mean, the skirt is really cute. I feel like I would get a lot of use out of this. Like, an oversized jumper, a little cardigan, I feel like it would look so cute with this. So, I actually love this, but I think I'm going to buy a size up next time. We're going to take a quick break now from clothing to show you a couple of bags because ASOS bags are unreal. I think these are both like ASOS own brand, like ASOS design. I'll show you this one first. I mean, how unreal is that? This is like the perfect spring bag. It's nice and light. It's got that gorgeous ruching design, which I am obsessed with at the moment. And I think it actually looks really, really expensive. So I love this. And I'm literally just like planning all the outfits that I can use with this at the moment because it is gorgeous. And then the next bag is giving me a very like Bottega vibes. It's in this kind of like padded fabric. It's almost like a puffer coat in a way, but I just absolutely love the design of this and the color. It's nice and lightweight, so you can literally just like whack whatever you want in here. And I feel like it's gonna be nice and comfortable. I really love this padded shoulder as well. I just think this bag is unreal. And also because of the fabric, I feel like you'll be able to easily wipe this. So it should, last you for quite a long time. I just absolutely love the design. Moving back onto clothing now, I actually picked up a little gym wear set. I don't know why I keep doing this because I'm not gonna lie, I've not worked out in 
I don't think I've worked out in 2021. I'm not even joking. Like, I literally just wear my gym wear under, <laughs> under like a tracksuit for when I go on a walk. But I'll show you this anyway because some people might still be doing their New Year's resolutions. They might be on that gym wear, gym wear or gym vibe. Literally, I can't. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm that clueless. Um, so I'll show you the little bra first. I'm kind of worried that I picked this up in a size too small, but I just think like the way that this looked on the model was really flattering. So hopefully it will look nice on as well. So that's the top. It's kind of like similar colours to this um and then the leggings are in like a seamless style again with like a similar kind of design but um yeah we'll see what these look like on i mean i'm probably not gonna work out on these until like i know that i can go away somewhere because i just think what is the point of working out right now um but yeah we'll see what these look like hopefully you can kind of see these i can never get my camera in the right place where you can see like the whole entire outfit um but this is actually a really comfortable gym set like I am so surprised by how comfortable this is because I was a bit worried that the top was going to be a little bit too small but actually it's stretched quite a lot and it looks not obviously like stretched but it's just like a stretchy fabric and it actually fits really well so do the leggings um I love that these are seamless I feel like they're a different take on you know the typical seamless leggings that everyone's wearing at the moment so yeah, I actually really love this set. It's making me want to go on another little walk. Probably not enough to exercise, but maybe on like a brisk walk. God, I'm literally so unfit, it's a joke. Another brand that ASOS sell on their website is New Look, which I'm actually very excited for because I feel like New Look actually do have some really good pieces and I feel like they're slept on a little bit. So I picked up this oversized jumper, which says Varsity, I think that's how you pronounce it, Varsity, and it's got this giant V on it. And I just thought this was really cute. It's a very like a preppy vibes and I feel like you can wear this with, I don't know, like a little roll neck or something underneath with a pair of jeans and that would just look so cute and it feels like really really good quality fabric as well so i'm actually very very impressed so far i just hope that it fits well something about this now that it's on is kind of giving me like high school musical vibes i think it's the colors but in terms of like the fit i actually think this is really nice like it is nice and oversized i picked this up in a size small and i would genuinely say like stick to your own size because i think they've definitely got the oversizedness of this correct um it's really comfortable it's not the thickest sweatshirt in the world so i feel like it it probably is actually quite good for the warmer weather which is hopefully coming to us soon but i think it's quite cute it's very preppy i feel like you could pair this um with like a little tennis skirt i think that would actually look really cute in trainers or even maybe like knee-high boots i feel like that could be quite cute so yeah i actually quite like this it's probably not something i would usually wear but I'm here for it. Okay, so for these next items, I want you to sound off in the comments. I wanna hear your thoughts. Um, on the flip-flop heel trend. So these, I think, kind of like came into fashion maybe summer of last year. I, I think I quite like them, to be honest. I think they're quite different. I don't know how long they'll kind of be a trend for, maybe only for a year, a couple of years, but they feel really comfortable. I'm not gonna try them on in the next clip because I'm not gonna lie, my toes are really gross. I haven't got them painted at the moment. I don't know if that's TMI, but I just wanna explain myself. If you're like, why didn't you try them on? That's why, because I honestly, I think people would unsubscribe. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on these kind of shoes next up is a top that i've actually been loving at the moment or like a style of top which is the sweetheart neckline like ribbed top jumper trend i have a couple of these in white but i don't have a black one yet um i haven't actually had an asos one before i feel like i'm just testing out all the different brands like i think i tried on a misguided one i've tried on an h&m one and now we're trying asos to see who does the best sweetheart neckline top um but yeah i just think i needed a black one especially for you know the days when i just kind of, I want to wear something a little bit darker. I feel like I wear a lot of beige a lot and I actually spill quite a lot of food on myself. Like I'm going out for a coffee and I end up spilling it on myself. Like I literally am so clumsy. So a black top is definitely needed at times and I feel like this is a little bit more chic as well. So we'll see if this um, is any better or any worse than the other brands that I've tried. Okay, this top is actually like such a vibe. I am obsessed with it. The fit, I love the way the shoulders sit. Um, you can't really, I would say, wear a bra with this. I would say like nip pads or actually a strapless bra would probably work. But I just think it's such a feminine fit. I think it works really well as well. Like if you've got like a few necklaces on, I just think it looks so beautiful. And you know what? I'm surprised that I've not got a black one before now because I actually think I prefer the black 
to the white versions that I have of this top. Like this is actually so stunning and it fits so well. Like it genuinely is probably the best fitting one that I've tried on. So well done ASOS for that. So the last couple of pieces I'm gonna show you are colorful. Who would have thought I literally never wear color on my channel or on my Instagram. But we're going to try and change that for spring a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy. Um, so this first top, I'm not going to lie, I did think this was going to be a bit more of a baby pink. It's kind of like, well, it's neon. It kind of looks neon to me. But I thought it was very sweet. I feel like with some really light blue jeans, it would be super cute. And also with like a little blazer or something thrown over the top. I have not worn pink like this in a very, very long time. So I am interested to see how this looks. I think it'll be quite nice. It's just a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be. I'm actually looking at myself in the viewfinder right now. Like this is so not me, but I actually really love the color of this top. And I feel like it works really well with like a light pair of jeans, like a light blue. And um, yeah, it's just so weird. The top itself, fits quite nicely I would say I feel like I feel like I could have got away with going size down maybe to like a size six but I mean it is quite cute I feel like this is a very springtime top and I think if I paired it with like you know more of a tonal blazer this could actually be a vibe but yeah let me know what you think about this bright color and then the final item I have to show you guys is this little adios does it say adios bitches jumper dress this is so cute i just love the little panda on the moped it's just it's just cute and quirky isn't it and i feel like if you wear a little roll neck underneath and a pair of knee high boots it will give you very like 2019 was it 2019 or 2018 ariana grande vibes which i love i just think this kind of style is super super cute and i just thought this was adorable also like if you're gonna lounge around the house i feel like you could wear this it's quite a comfy little piece so yeah let me know your thoughts on on this this is totally not my usual kind of style, but I actually think it fits quite nicely. I was worried it was going to be like a massive oversized jumper dress, which it is, but it's also like, it's kind of, you know, being tailored in a way that it doesn't just look like you're wearing a potato sack. So yeah, I think this is actually really cute. My camera battery is flashing at me, which means I've definitely tried on enough clothing, enough enough clothing today um but i don't think we've ended on too bad of a note so yeah love this and that is everything that i picked up from asos today i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching let me know your favorite pieces down below and i will see you in my next video bye